Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a level 50 Haxorus. It is going to be unfortunately a 14 15 15 but this is the best one that I got so we're going to have to just go with it and I did make that investment. Of course we're going to have the community today breaking swipe. We're going to be going with counter and we got a little specialty on this one right here. This special Haxorus we're going with earthquake. And we're going to be taking a few people by surprise and it does help me out and there is really no other circumstance where i'm like damn i really wish i didn't have earthquake right now and i needed surf or something else it was always great for me so hacksaurus with counter breaking swipe lowering the attack on the opponent every single time you do use it is going to be amazing here it did perform great i had a blast and hacksaurus is well where it should be in its rightful place in the master league it's about time here does have a little bit of trouble going up against Dragon Breath users when you do have counter. For instance, if you're uh, going up against Dragonite or, uh, I don't know, I was going to say Dialga, but it is Steel type. You do a lot of damage, but it is going to be hitting you very hard as well, so you do need to look out for that. And Haxors is not the bulkiest Pokemon around, so uh, lowering that attack is going to be a necessity in a lot of situations, especially for this. So let's take a look. We've lowered their attack by one stage. Now this is going to be by two. And Precipice Blades is easily one of the strongest moves in the game here. So at this point, they're at a attack stage down by two. And Precipice Blades almost KOs, but we're able to get to the next one here. So thanks to the dropping of the attack, we're able to take this win here with the Haxors up against that Groudon. So I had a blast. It was great here. Folks, if you can hit that thumbs up button, it would be much appreciated. If you do enjoy my videos, if you want to support me, uh, that's all you really need to do. Now, we're going in here with the real team. We're going to be having Ho-Oh and Snorlax. Snorlax will be equipped as best buddy. Now, the Ho-Oh is not even completely powered up. It's like level 47 or something like that. And then later down the line, we're going to take off Snorlax and put on a Zacian, which that is also not even going to be powered up all the way. So, yeah, uh, it's not so much that I'm slacking, but this is when we were able to do as many remote raids as we could. It was just the fact that I was busy editing or doing other things. I said it before, I'll say it again. As much as I would love to sit here and raid as much as I can at home or wherever, I simply can't because it's, the grind just simply does not allow me to. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and see what we have. This is an amazing matchup here, but they're going to be swapping out of that Kyogre and bringing in their Groudon, in which we're going to go ahead and throw a Breaking Swipe to lower their attack. And they gain a little bit more energy with the Haxors and then swap into the Ho-Oh and go for uh, go for Brave Bird here. Building up a little bit of extra energy. They did go for Fire Punch, taking them out, holding onto their last shield so they can farm up with their Kyogre. And at this point, I was thinking, you know, I think we'll be okay. All right. Yeah, we'll definitely get to another one. We're totally fine here. Uh, we are shieldless, so this Surf is resisted, but it is going to do still a decent amount because, again, Haxors is not the tankiest thing around. But we're able to get to the Breaking Swipe and we take that win with our Haxors. Let's go. Next battle leading with Ho-Oh. I do believe for quite some time. Met with a Metagross. This is fantastic. Let's see what they swap into. They're going to be bringing in a Yveltal. So what we're going to do is let this go because Ho-Oh is such a tank even though we're not going to be completely powered up. It is going to be a 100 though. So there is that I guess. I'm uh, going to go for the Brave Bird, and they let it go, so change of plans. I was going to retreat, so we're going to go ahead and stay here. But what we're going to do is throw, swap into our Snorlax, and then we'll kind of just regain alignment later down the line. I do believe they retreat here after they see that, and I get my third hundredth win, and we're actually done with the rewards for this season. Next battle met with a Groudon. This is, again, another great lead. We're going to see quite a few good leads here. They swap into their Shadow Mewtwo, and we're going to go ahead and bring in our Shadow Snorlax. We can let the first Ice Strike go, although they did build up to quite a bit of energy, so a little risky letting that go, but it was just a Ice Strike, so no problem at all. And then uh, they're shielding up the Body Slam, so now we're at a shield advantage, so we're looking fantastic here and getting to the next Body Slam. Let's see if they want to double shield that Mewtwo. They're letting it go. We are holding on to two shields, which is great. Bringing in Dialga and getting a little bit of farm, but nothing too crazy. And now I have a decision to make. This is my first time going up against Dialga with the Haxorus here. So let's see what we can do. We have two shields. We're going to nullify their attack so we can survive a little bit longer. We could shield this up and get to another one here. I was trying to kind of gauge what I can do, and we're able to get there right before they do take us out with Dragon Breath. This is going to do a decent amount, if not KO. Almost, and we swap, and they swap immediately into their Groudon. They realize that is a wrap. They back out, and we take that win. 
Let's see what we're going to have for the next battle with that Ho-Oh. Another Groudon. Well, can't complain. Let's go. Nothing in the back is particularly wanting to not see it, so it's not a horrible matchup anyway. You slice it for my team here. But we're going to be seeing another Yavelto, so we're going to go ahead and let that first one go. Build up a little bit more energy and go for the Brave Bird. They're going to be shielding it up. And we can shield up the next one since we did let that first one go. Their quick move is really not doing too much damage, so we don't need to worry about that. Do they want to use two shields? If they do, I think we're going to want to swap into our Haxorus here. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Doing a decent amount of damage with the counter, seeing that they are going to be part dark, as well as that flying. But it's still doing a decent amount. Swapping into Metagross, and here we go. First time using Earthquake, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how much damage this is. Oh, my, that's fantastic. One-shotting the Metagross. Let's go. And then they get... Getting to a, <laughs> another breaking swipe. And then the Groudon comes in, and we're looking great. Bringing in Snorlax to kind of... Uh, just absorb whatever energy they decide to throw at me here. I do believe a fire punch at first. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, fire punch trying to get a shield out of me. Definitely not going to be shielding up the Snorlax whatsoever here. Again, we're a little low on the Ho-Oh, so Precipice Blaze could technically take us out. So we're just going to have them use that up here. They get to another charge move. We're going to let it go. More than likely a fire punch. Yeah, we're going to go body slam. And now we can go ahead and swap into the Ho-Oh. Oh, we're going to go superpower. Okay, yeah, that works. And then swap, and we're looking good. We're going to let this go. I don't know why. I, I probably should have shielded it up, expecting a fire punch. But there you have it. We take that win. Looking good. Next battle, leading with Ho-Oh. And we're met with a Lugia. We got a classic battle here, folks. Classic battle. So I'm going to be getting stabbed from the Incinerate. And they're going to just be doing a decent amount of damage with that Dragon Tail. Getting to the Sacred Fire. Unfortunately, no attack drop that's why I, I went for that initially as well as the fact that we can let this go and we do call sky attack so we're safe because we did not de double debuff ourselves with sky attack and eh, the unfortunate part is they still haven't used a shield here yet so ho-oh -Oh is a pretty damn tanky pokemon they let it go we win with the shield down though they bring in their giratina this is looking pretty good getting off a sky attack or a Brave Bird, they let it go, and this is great. We're not gonna move or do anything. We bring in the Snorlax because that's a good matchup, but then, but then I see a freaking Togekiss back here. So I'm thinking, well, Giratina's got energy. I need to survive with Snorlax. How am I, this is not gonna work out. If I swap in a Haxorus, that's a wrap. I mean, we can't do anything. I'm Technically, we could have bring it in and then went for Breaking Swipe and lowered the attack, but then that's just gonna give them that much more energy on their Togekiss, so. I don't know, it's a spur of the moment thing. I just stayed here, so let's see what we have. Immediately swapping in a Haxorus. Snorlax still does have a little bit of health left here, but this Shadow Ball is gonna do quite a bit of damage. No more shields on either end. Going for the Breaking Swipe to lower the attack and do super effective stab damage. Bringing them into the yellow here, but unfortunately this is not gonna cut it. I don't think Snorlax has enough health to pull this off, even though we did drop their attack. A Shadow Ball is not gonna KO. This is gonna be pretty crazy here. Yeah, definitely not enough, and we get to the body slam in a desperation. Last slam, and that is a wrap. Taking a loss up against an all shadow move Giratina. That's uh, that's something there. Next battle meant with a Goldingo. This is a good matchup here. They're going to be swapping into Zacian. Now, I, you never know if they have Wild Charge, so we're going to, I think, yeah, just throw this and then retreat into our Snorlax. Uh, you know, more than likely, they're going to have superpower, or not superpower, uh, close combat. So yeah, we're just going to let that first one go, no problem at all. And that was a play rough. So, okay, another play rough. Maybe they got wild charge. You know, maybe they're just playing it safe so they can take a hit. Exactly. That's, the, you know, one of the reasons we were talking why we didn't go for the Brave Bird so we can just let it go. Wild charge. But we survive with one HP and they have debuffed themselves at this point. And they're going to be using all of their shields here. So now we know they have wild charge and that is going to do quite a bit of damage to the Ho-Oh. I don't, it's not going to take us out, but I do shield up because I kind of want to reserve our health and that's going to do quite a bit. And we're actually able to farm them down for quite a bit of uh, energy here. Now they're bringing in their own Dragonite. We go for the Brave Bird. We're going to build up to another one. We try to. They swap into Goldingo trying to catch. But that Incinerate is so damn slow with the animation. It kind of slows me down. So we're bringing in the Haxorus here. And I'm thinking, come on, survive a Dragon Claw Haxorus. Come on, buddy. And it does not, unfortunately. And ho oh, oh, it's up to you. We snuck one of those quick moves through. Did you see that? And if we survive this, we win and we do. 
beautiful. We had about one HP on that. That was a close battle. All right, next one. What are we going to see? A Togekiss. That is a good lead for us here. Now, Ancient Power is going to be doing quite a bit of damage, seeing that we're flying and fire. It's going to be four times effective, so we don't really want to let that go here. We're going to go for the Sacred Fire, so we don't take as much damage from the charm, because although we are resisting it, debuffing our defense by two stages is not going to be ideal, so we're gonna just take it that much more all right now we're gonna go ahead and go for the brave bird let's see if we can get a shield out of them because we don't really need to worry about uh yeah if they shield up we'll shield up too but they're letting it go and they're bringing in guard chomp so we're gonna go ahead and go for a brave bird and we're gonna swap because they do have dragon tail which is doing quite a bit i bring in the snorlax and they back out so i'm wondering what they had in the back who knows maybe a giratina but maybe a dialga next battle met with a groudon and this is a good lead let's go all right what are they gonna do looks like they want to stay and fight now personally i do this too from time to time if i'm leading groudon and i'm met with a ho-oh because that precipice blades take a look at the damage actually doing a decent amount sacred fire <laughs> All right, now we're going to go ahead and let this go. We will survive it. It's going to be very close here, but we do not need to use that last shield. And then we're going to go ahead and just throw Brave Bird, do as much damage as we can here. And it is going to be a Dialga, so whatever, we're still getting a shield. It's not like we're going to get to another charge move. And we do have Zacian back here. Let's go. This is looking good for us. Now, Iron Head is going to do a decent amount. We do uh, use a shield here. We could have let it go, but that's okay. Just preserving our health. They do have a Metagross back here, so it is going to be time for the Haxorus. All right, now what we're going to try to do here is we're going to have to farm them down. Come out of this with a plenty of energy and uh, kind of just spam their Dialga. So I'm going to go ahead and shield this up. We love their attack. Can we get them all the way down? Unfortunately, freaking not. We were just one HP off and they still KO us. I was so pissed. I just wasted all that damn energy here. Am I actually going to be able to get to two close combats? Because one of these are not going to be enough here, folks. There's one, and we get to it. That was a very sloppy battle on my end. But hey, we're still able to pull it off here and make it happen. All right, next battle. What are we going to see with that Ho-Oh lead? A Dialga. Okay, we'll take it. All right, let's go. Got to get more candies for this thing when it comes back to raids, that's for sure. You know what they need to do is bring back the XL candy for rewards in Go Battle League that they did for Go Battle Day. Uh, if they can have that, you know, all the time, that would be amazing. And I would spend passes on the battle track in Go Battle League, okay? And so I, I would spend a dollar for every set if they had an XL candy in there. You hear that, Niantic, if you're listening? Uh, that's, that's a good idea, huh? Because otherwise, I'm not really spending money on raids too much. That's, yeah, not even in person. Maybe for these events, but hey, want to make some money? <laughs> there you go. All right, you want to take remote raids away? There you go. All right, what do we got going on here? Haxors versus Giratina, and we got a catch on the Zacian uh, with the Dragon Claw. Oh my gosh, let's go. All right, we're set here. Now we've lowered the attack by what? By two stages on that Giratina or something? I think it was just one maybe, but uh, nonetheless, we're looking great here with that catch, having them waste their energy. So we're gonna be building up extra energy, so we're ready to go. And they have no more shields while we have two and energy. Oh shoot, this is not looking good. This is not, all right, both of our moves are resisted. That Ho-Oh is not screwing around here. And at this point it has a ton of energy. So I throw the play rough, I swap into the Haxorus, I throw the breaking swipe, they retreat with energy and they bring in their Dialga. Now, I'm going to have to shield this up. I'm going to have to farm them down, folks. Can we do it? Yes, because they used another attack, allowing me to sneak another quick move through. And they are going to uh, allow themselves to not get one through <laughs> because they're going for their charge move. See? All right. So, we're getting off that first one. We lower their attack. Incinerate is so slow for the damage registration that we're able to get to another breaking swipe and take the win with the Haxorus sweeping up for us. And I was quite happy with this thing. Let's go. Next battle, we're met with a Melmetal. Double-edged sword, except for ours is a little dull. And there's a sharp. And uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much that's the case here. So the reason why is because they're four times effective. Not getting stabbed, but able to spam it very fast, as opposed to us here. So we're going to go for Sacred Fire, getting a shield. Because we can let this go, if we go for Brave Bird, then they'd be able to KO us. So they're going to have to throw their energy, and as you can see, they have plenty of it. So we're going to go ahead and use our shield here, and now we're left shieldless as they swap into Dragonite. We're going to go ahead and bring in our Zacia, which is going to completely wall it, unless it does have Hurricane. That is the emergency move. Going to go ahead and throw that superpower. Great. We do not want to kind of keep going past 100. We reached it, so we're going to go ahead and throw that play rough at this point. 
Unfortunately, they did hit another superpower, which is doing a, still a decent amount of damage here. And they're bringing in that Melmetal. We're going to immediately throw this superpower. Or why do I keep calling it that? The uh, close combat. And they have a Giratina in the back. Okay, so we haven't debuffed our attack. We've debuffed our stats. So we're going to go ahead and throw the play rough on that Giratina. They're going to immediately shield it up. And I screw up. We already had 100 energy. And I could have made it to another Brave Bird if I did not do that. But we're able to get it off. Do a decent amount of damage. Swap into our Haxors. And things are getting a little bit crazy here. What's going on? Going to let that Shadow Ball go. This is our last Pokemon. And we're going to be able to get to the Breaking Swipe and take the win with the Haxors. Closing it out for us at the end. Wow, that was a crazy battle. Let's keep it moving here. What are we going to be met with with the ho oh, oh, a Groudon? <laughs> You'll love to see it. All right, so let's have a little fun here. And it looks like they're staying for now. And okay, we're going to go ahead and just throw the Sacred Fire because again, we do not want to debuff ourselves. They'll be able to KO us with the Precipice Blades if we do. All right, now we did sneak a Sacred or a Sacred Fire. A, an incinerate through, so we're able to KO there. Great, and we're going to immediately throw another Sacred Fire. I think I knew what it was. Dialga. Okay, we saw it that time. So we're going to obviously bring in our Zacian. Oh, we're bringing in a hack source. Okay, yeah, I, it was just too tempting. I wanted to counter them down. So they're going to be immediately swapping into their Mewtwo. So what I'm going to do is throw the Breaking Swipe. I wanted to swap, but I screwed up here. So we're going to go ahead and just let this go. And it's a freaking Ice Beam. So I retreat in a frantic just run. I'm like, oh my goodness. You <laughs> I was expecting this Ice Strike. And I would be low in the red, but not, you know, one more quick move in the red. Uh, so nice, nice, nice Ice Beam on that Mewtwo. Of course it has it. All right, so we have two shields, and now it's going to be time to uh, starting to shield this thing up. So I got a little, little nervous thinking, wait a minute, how much energy did that Mewtwo have again? And they've still got one shield, so technically I need to get to three charge moves here. So we're going to go ahead and throw the first one before we do uh, destroy ourselves and build up a little bit more energy. Getting to the next, <laughs> I'm gonna about to call it Superpower, Close Combat. And wait a minute, they have no more shields. Wow. <laughs> I think I need to go drink some coffee, folks. I think I need to go drink some coffee. All right. <laughs> Next battle, what are we going to see here? All right, got a ho oh. A Dialga. That's a fine lead, and they know it. They're going to be swapping into a Tyranitar Shadow. Took me a second to think on what I should do here, but I am going to go ahead and bring in the Haxors so we can farm them down. If they want to bring back that. Dialga, we're going to be able to do plenty of... Wow, whoa, this is the Earthquake one. Oh, yeah, this is the Earthquake one. That's right. Watch this. Let's go. Oh, Dialga didn't know what the hell hit it. You're not supposed to have that move. And then they've got a Kyogre in the bag. Now, this is the sweep, ladies and gentlemen. My gosh, not able to get to the next breaking swipe, unfortunately. So I do decide to bring in the Ho-Oh because technically... I may be acting like, ooh, we got this, but they still have two shields, and they just hit me with Origin Pulse, which I was expecting to survive and take a shield from them, so we can take them out with the Zacian. So now, I'm going to have to <laughs> figure this out. I'm like, oh my gosh. I thought I was going to you know, gonna have a great little sweep here, but come on, we got to close this out. So we're going to call this Surf, because we lowered their attack. Okay, but now we need to build to two close combats, because, well, we got to get that shield first, so we're going to get to the first one, and they didn't sneak it through, or they did, but it didn't register, and we're getting to the next one, and this will KO, I couldn't believe it, and we take the win that we deserve there with one HP, let's keep it moving. Next battle, we're going to be met with a Kirum, okay, now that is interesting, uh, Ice is going to be doing a decent amount, because at the end of the day, we are going to be flying, and they are getting staff from that Ice as well, so I would assume Glaciate, there it is. And it's not doing too much, but it is lowering our attack. And that Dragon Breath did accumulate pretty quick here. So we're going to go for the Brave Bird, and they're letting it go. We're going for the next one here. I do believe they shield this up so they can win the swap. Yep, no, no. swap means a lot. So they've got energy, so I decide to bring in the Zacian, and they immediately swap with energy still on the Kirim and bring in their Shadow Mewtwo. And we probably want to shield up this first side strike. That's going to do a whole hell of a lot of damage. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the play rough because, well, close combat's not very effective. They let it go. And I do shield this up because I was going to think to myself, I was like, you know what? No, maybe that's the best plan because we're going to end up shielding the Kiram anyways. I know they're going to be bringing Kiram in here. Or never. Okay, it's this one. It's the Heatran. Shiny. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. I still need a good shiny, and I still do not have a good IV Lava Plum, so... Yeah, anyways, they swap into the Kirim, and they kind of just absorb that, but I, knowing I have the Hacksaws that I was good to go, they throw an Iron Head, but we're simply going to be able to counter them down, and we take the win with our Hacksaws at the end. 
Let's keep it going here. Leading with Ho-Oh again, and we're met with Zacian. Now, this is good if they don't have Wild Charge. If they have Wild Charge, it's not horrible, but it, you know, it's not great. <laughs> because it's going to do a lot. And this one does have Quick Attack, which unfortunately is doing a whole hell of a lot of damage. And it does gain energy fairly nice as well. All right, so they did go for a Wild Charge, lowering their stats, going for the Sacred Fire. Uh, yeah, so we can let this go. Otherwise, we'd be two times debuff. We survive it, hitting the Brave Bird. And, of course, you already know, they're going to want to double shield that Zacian. So we're going to immediately swap. And it's not the fact that, you know, I just didn't want them to get too much farm there. Even though it's going to be two more, two, more, two more quick moves. Two more. Oh, man, now I'm stumbling. Like one of those people that just keeps on walking, running forward and it just you can't catch your feet. Anyways, what's going on here? Uh, Melmetal. Okay, so we're building up, letting them throw. Going to go for the close combat here. Take them out. Very nice. We've got one shield. They've got zero. Bring in their Zacian. This will KO. And we're letting it go. Okay, yeah, we're going to hold on to that. Bring in the Haxorus and kind of gamble on this here. Now, we know that they don't have a super effective move, but I'm going to shield this up anyways because close combat would have done a decent amount. And they have a Yveltal now. We are shieldless at this point, but we are going to be able to lower their attack here. And we do have Ho-Oh to catch, and we're getting to another breaking swipe. And that's going to be a two attack stage down at this point. And that's great for us here, so we can potentially outpace them. So let's see what happens. Dark Pulse, great. Looking at the swap, we get to the next breaking swipe. Spammy breaking swipe, folks. Look at this. Haxor is putting in the work. And I was trying to catch. I was trying to catch, folks. But that's just not happening here. And ho uh oh Are we going to take the win? And we do. Thank you for watching and take care. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.